Mike DeRoe, Director of Golf at Quail Creek Country Club in Naples, Florida. It's a beautiful morning and we're standing in everybody's favorite place, the bunker. I'm going to give you a few tips that can, I hope will help you love this bunker shot. They, everyone says it's not that hard, but maybe you find it difficult. But all you're going to do is try to splash some sand out of here, throw some sand. Okay. In my younger years, I got to see Gene Sarazen give us a sand clinic, and this is what he said. Two golden rules. Golden rule number one, take some sand, and golden rule number two, follow through. Okay, so your club, club head must enter the sand, exit the sand. So I would like you to find a way to enter the sand, exit the sand. Notice how my legs are moving. You might even see some tour players do this without legs. But I go, that is so unusual, and they, they practice thousands of balls a day. Otherwise, I would advise that you enter the sand, exit the sand. Okay, so take sand, follow through. One of my best tips I like to say to people is that to follow through means coming around your lead post. Go posting. And the post, you get to it, and it, it gives you your power, but also there's a height thing. Watch this player. And you go, wow, he went down into his post. You know, some of the best players when they drive, they pop on their post. But I don't want you to do either of those. I'd like you just to know that you go into it and around it. That gives you the same consistency in the sand. So you stand there and you go, I'm going to go into the post. That's your left leg. And then once I get there and splash the sand, then I'm going to get around it. What most players do is they lean back because they got to get over that hump. So when they lean back, they hit behind it. Okay, so they get sand, but they get it way back there. So the important thing is to move into it, take sand, follow through. So it would be like this, take sand, follow through. Okay, so every time you swing, you take sand, follow through. You'll be told to hit one inch behind the ball. I think that's kind of bad advice because here's the rule. You can aim a gun, you can aim, but you can't aim an arc. So to aim one inch behind the ball usually gets people crazy when all you have to know is you can hit anywhere between one inch and four inches behind the ball. So, look at it as a generality. I like to think of it as a fried egg. And there's the yellow yolk, and all you have to do is take all the egg whites. So you have six to eight inches, and even 10 inches of taking sand, following through. Okay, so you don't have to hit one inch behind the ball. Three, four, as long as you follow through. So. Get those elbows up here. When they say follow through, that would mean get your elbows here, get your legs here, get that club to have some, some zip. You get to swing about three to four times harder than you would if it was just grass right. because of that cushion. Another thing you'll see the tour players, they'll open the face way up. When you open the face way up, you get more bounce. But for most players, you just need to open it just a touch or not at all. Because as you open it, it bounces, the club will bounce more, but crazy things can happen. So I would just open it up a little bit. And the other thing, the good thing to know is this. Balls always go farther than sand. So when I toss that ball, the ball goes farther than the sand. So when I'm throwing this watch, so all you have to do is throw some sand, the ball will always go farther. So open up a little bit, get your confidence, get around your post. Hit shots that go right up there. I believe that might have gone in. 